Hi, I'm Kirsten Romero. I'm the Registered Dietitian with Senior Services of Southeastern Virginia. Today I'd like to talk to you about yogurt. Yogurt is an excellent source of calcium and potassium and vitamin D, protein, and probiotics. As we age, we actually lose some of our bone density. So our bones be can become more likely to have fractures and that can affect our balance as well as our overall quality of life. So yogurt is a delicious and easy way to get more calcium in your diet. There are so many yogurts out there on the market, it's really hard to decide what kind of yogurt you should get. My recommendation would be to choose a low fat yogurt or a non fat yogurt and that way we're going to keep fat content down and that will make it still healthy for our heart. One really delicious one that I found is um, I happened to pick up the Shivani and it's unsweetened and it is also non-fat. You can buy a store brand, it doesn't have to be a fancy brand. You can buy Greek yogurt, you can buy regular yogurt, you can buy Icelandic yogurt. It all depends on your preference. Something like Greek yogurt is going to be a little bit thicker than a traditional yogurt because when they process it, they filter out a lot of the whey, uh, which is part of the, fraction, the milk fraction, and that makes it just a thicker product and a higher protein content as well. Uh, the reason that we recommend having less sugar in the yogurt is because um, there's a lot of sugar that's hidden in yogurt when you buy the pre-sweetened ones. This one right here doesn't have any added sugar, but if you look at the label, it does still have some sugar that's naturally present from milk. That's not the sugar that we're worried about. So if you are going to buy one that is pre-sweetened, if you're looking at a Greek yogurt, the maximum amount of sugar that should be on the label would be 15 grams. And if you're looking at a traditional pre-sweetened yogurt, the most you would want there would be 22 grams of sugar. I think it's best if you sweeten it yourself and you buy the plain one like I have here. It doesn't have any added sugar, only the sugar that's naturally present from the lactose. Okay, so let's say that you take my advice and you decide to try some yogurt. You're going to get lots of great probiotics that are naturally present in the yogurt from the fermentation process and that's really good for your gut. And you say, well, how am I going to make it taste good if I decide to use this unsweetened that you're recommending to me? Well, I have all kinds of wonderful things here to show you how you can make your own delicious yogurt treat. So right here I have some almond butter, I have some dark chocolate chips, I have some dried cherries, I have some sliced banana, some blueberries, raspberries, some walnuts, pecans, and then I also just have a little jar here of some honey that you can use to sweeten your yogurt to the amount of sweetness that you want and hopefully not nearly as much sweetness as you'd find in one that's already pre-sweetened. So one of my favorites to have for breakfast is yogurt. Okay, so I take a little bit of yogurt and to sweeten it up, I like to add a little bit of raspberries. Oh, there's a blueberry inside this raspberry here. And a little bit of blueberries. And then I feel like you can't go wrong with having a little bit of crunch in your yogurt. So I think today I'm going to try some pecans. That goes really nicely together. And then I'm going to put just a little drizzle of this honey here. And that is my breakfast yogurt. Delicious. It's going to be sweet from the honey, but also from the fruit. You can use frozen fruit, you can use fresh fruit. Just make sure if you use frozen fruit that it's not pre-sweetened fruit. Okay. All right, then this is one of my favorite dessert yogurts because you can enjoy yogurt at any time. So I would take a little bit of this yogurt here and then I would add some dark chocolate chips. This is the almond butter. The almond butter is going to sweeten it up but it's also going to give it like a, a savory rich flavor. Can't go wrong with that. And then bananas, because I think bananas and almonds go really nicely together. And I would probably just mix that up and call this a little dessert. It's going to be delicious. You can get all kinds of great sweetness in there when you mix it in together. And you can get as creative as you like. I often do um, the dried cherries with walnuts. I like that a lot. It really just depends on what I have. These are just things that I had in my house already. 
because I've always got fresh fruit around. I try to keep some dried fruit and some nuts, and then I can always make myself a fancy yogurt whenever I want to. It's great for breakfast, great for a snack, and also great for dessert. Um, and don't forget about savory ways to use yogurt. I didn't bring any today, but you can always add um, some of your savory spices to just plain yogurt and make a nice vegetable dip. Um, if you haven't tried it before, tzatziki is delicious. It's a dip that's made with uh, fresh cucumber, garlic, uh, a little bit of lemon juice, and a tiny bit of salt and pepper. Absolutely delicious, wonderful dip for, um, for any of your favorite vegetables. So if you're thinking about trying yogurt to get more calcium in your diet, try some of these tasty ways. It'll be different every time, and you get to control how much sugar is there. Well, thank you so much. It's been great to talk to you. Work on that calcium and try some yogurt today. Thank you.